I'm an open book. I'm a bookworm and I'm an open book. So, Q&A. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Um, I have been on this channel for a little while. Um, but yeah, I thought, why not do a Q&A today? So, I asked you guys some questions on Instagram and I also have some questions I'm going to search up online and so yeah let's get into it so first question they're not going to be kind of random they're not going to be specific um, if you'd like to me to do a specific Q&A then I might um yeah so the first question is um, after a breakup would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends Thinking about it, I think I'd rather be alone. The thing is, um, it also depends on like how bad the breakup was, but most likely alone. Because all I need is probably, I might only need like a day or so, but like by myself, it just, it's in my own head and I like to get it all out before I move on, you know? Pick myself up and move on. Next question. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Personally? Both. Probably a dog person. But I do love cats as well. But dog person. What would be the name of your future son or daughter? So I'm actually gonna answer both. Um my daughter, I would love to call her Mirabelle. Um I just love the name and it sounds so beautiful. Mirabelle or um Nora. I love those names really much. And so for a son, um, I love the name Benjamin. I don't know, there's just something about it that's just beautiful. Benjamin. I don't know. Yeah, Benjamin most likely. Another question is, do you like coffee? No. <laughs> no. I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. I like hot chocolate more. It's just since I was a child, you know, I love hot chocolate, but not coffee, no. Dream vacation. My dream vacation, oh, I would love to go around Europe. I love, like, I see pictures of, like, France, I see pictures of Italy, I see pictures of Greece, Greek, Greece, sorry, um, and Wow, I would love to go to those places. So yeah, I can't decide between them, but I would love to go to around Europe. Last movie you watched? Well, I actually do not remember, but I think I watched, ah, no, I watched Scream. So I watched it in school. Um, my teacher for one of the last days, she put uh, Scream, the first movie, and, um, and it was good. Scary, but good. <laughs> One of my friends named Kayla, she asked me if, what are my top five favorite musicals? So, counting them down, I love Hairspray. Um, one of my first songs that I sang like in high school was um, You Can't Stop the Beat. So I love Hairspray, Illegally Blonde. Since my friend Lila, she, um, she was supposed to star in Illegally Blonde um, musical, but sadly due to Corona, um, it was out they had to postpone it so sadly she wasn't able to do it but I do love um, Legally Blonde from that and then yes, I actually recently watched Billy Elliot the musical this is part of my ABC drama course and it's, it was really good so Billy Elliot and then I love I actually like Shrek the musical <laughs> I really really do like it um Beating the Beast Maybe some people would know why, some people won't, but Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, so that's my top five favorite musicals. So what TV show do you like? I actually, TV shows, sorry. I um, Right now, I am watching The Vampire Diaries and I love it. Uh, it's a really, really good show if you haven't watched it. I recommend, um, but I actually watched the originals before The Vampire Diaries and the originals is the spin-off series. So, yes, yeah, so I really like The Vampire Diaries. One of my favorite of all time is Gossip Girl. I loved Gossip Girl so, so, so much. 
Um, and I love Miraculous. If you guys know me, Miraculous is one of my favorites. Okay, so another question is, these are getting deep, so. If you could know the absolute and total truth about one question, what question would that be? So, what question would you ask, should I say? Well, it's gonna sound weird, but what truly happens to you after death? Yes, I know about heaven and hell, and I believe in that, and I believe in God, and that people who do bad stuff will serve the consequence, and people who are good will get a reward, but it's not set in stone, if that makes sense. So, it's, it's in the Bible, it's in the Quran, it's in um, all beliefs that something will happen, but what exactly does happen? That's my question. So the next, the last question for this part is what ridiculous thing has someone tricked you into doing or believing? So trust me, there are plenty of stories for this. But one of the thing is, is when I was young, um, my mom was doing something with the printer and I was like, mom, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm faxing. And I'm just like, what do you mean faxing? What's faxing? And she's like, I put this paper through and it goes to someone else and it comes out of someone else's printer. I'm like, really that happens? And she's like, yes. The thing is, I didn't realize that the fax, the, the sheet of paper would go through the fax, scan, and then send to someone else and it come out the other end. I didn't see it come out the other end. So I thought that the paper goes through the printer, it flies to the other person and it comes out of their printer. Yeah, one of the many things I believed as a child. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> now onto the Instagram questions I asked on Instagram um, uh, for that I'm doing a Q&A video today. And I asked you guys if you have any questions for me. So I'm going to go through some of them and yeah, so. The first one is from Armin. Gonna give a shout out to him. Uh, one of my best friends, known him for a long time. He asked, what do you see yourself doing as a career if theater slash acting or singing doesn't work? So that's a really good question. Um, I don't actually, like, I have an idea, but I'm not quite sure. Well, that's a really good question. Um, but I'm not 100% sure just yet, but what I, think I want to do is I want to do a um, movie like acting and um, I hope to do movie directing and producing as well either directing or producing but I really love like cre behind the scenes creation of the movies as you can tell I love acting I love singing so I hope to do something in that in just the entertainment industry in general next question is from Hayley Rodriguez um, she asked asked um how glad are you that we are super close friends now compared to the start of last year so she's been bugging me about this um and she's been wanting me to tell the story so like me and Haley, when we first met last year i was just this bubbly girl in class and so there was like new students in class and she was one of them and i didn't really know her that well but was the shy one you know she was like the one that just didn't talk to anyone and like just kept to herself and like whenever I would say hi like hello how are you she'd just be like I'm good thanks <laughs> and I used to think she like thought I was very weird I mean I think I'm weird but like <laughs> like that must be crazy from someone who was introverted um and I say was because um our friendship grew and the closer she got to me and the closer we got together she became more and more and more extroverted now on like whenever she sees me she isn't like that quiet girl She's that kind of girl that just like jumps up and hugs me as well and everything and she, I guess I helped her with the character development if you want to say that. I also like, we bonded on books, books she told me about new books and I read them and I loved them and so yeah, so that's where our bond came and we have been, yeah I've turned her to an extroverted person. <laughs> Next question, well, isn't really a question, well, kind of, um, it's from Spirit Trauma, and they said, why is your face so squishy and cute? <laughs> Thank you. Um, and it's like, P.S. Pancakes or waffles? Personally, I love pancakes. 
I can make my own kind. Like I, I make it like from scratch and I love pancakes. So I have to go with pancakes. Next one is from Anthony Tigas and he asked, how's quarantine? Quarantine's been okay. I've been <laughs> I've been doing a lot of like studies in the beginning, like lot when school was shut down for us early because of the corona. And so I've been doing a lot of uh, homework during that time and then now I'm just addicted to the vampire diaries. I can't stop watching it and I love it so much. And yeah, I might have gone from season from the start to season four um, in like maybe four days. Yikes. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for future videos. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace. And that's my bro. Broder. Wait, wait, wait.